Piper Podcast, your sanctuary for all things pipe tobacco. I'm your host, George, and today we are taking a journey into the intricate world of oriental tobacco. As you prepare to enjoy your pipe, sit back, relax, and let the aromatic ambience of our podcast envelop you. Oriental tobacco, the delicate leaf known as Turkish or Eastern tobacco, has an unparalleled allure. Close your eyes and envision a tranquil space, the ember of your pipe and the subtle sounds of it being lit as we embark on this journey together. Oriental tobacco is a whisper from the East and the Mediterranean regions. Think of it as a time-traveling voyage where you are transported to the tobacco-rich lands of Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria and the Middle East. As you take that first draw from your pipe, let's unravel the mystique of Oriental tobacco. Oriental tobacco has a rich history that dates back centuries. It's been cultivated in these regions for generations, shaping the traditions and cultures of Greece, Turkey and Bulgaria. In Greece, the cultivation of Oriental tobacco has deep roots, going back to the 1600s. The region of Xanthi and the town of Komotini are famous for producing some of the finest basma tobacco in the world. This tobacco variety is renowned for its exceptional quality and unique flavor profile, contributing to Greece's reputation as a tobacco-producing powerhouse. In Turkey, the history of Oriental tobacco is intertwined with the Ottoman Empire. Turkish tobacco, often referred to as Izmir or Smyrna tobacco, has a long and prestigious history. The tobacco-growing regions of Izmir and Samsun have been pivotal in shaping the country's tobacco industry. The aroma and flavor of Turkish tobacco have made it an integral component of various blends worldwide. Bulgaria also plays a significant role in the story of Oriental tobacco. The region of Yenich, which straddles both Bulgaria and Greece, is renowned for its Yenich tobacco. This tobacco variety takes its name from the Greek town of Yenisea and is prized for its unique and exotic characteristics. The history of Yenich tobacco reflects the cultural and agricultural traditions of this region. Today, these countries continue to honor their rich heritage by producing oriental tobacco that retains its unique qualities and flavors. As you enjoy your pipe, you are participating in a tradition that spans generations and borders. Picture in your mind the enchanting flavors and fragrances of oriental tobacco. It's often described as sweet, spicy and sometimes with hints of floral or herbal notes. Its gentle, smooth smoke invites contemplation, echoing the peaceful rhythm of pipe smoking. Now, within the world of oriental tobacco, a myriad of varieties tells unique stories. Oriental tobacco's character is forged in the crucible of its growing conditions. Warm days and cool nights in the eastern Mediterranean region give it its signature charm. The soil, rich in minerals and low in nitrogen, nurtures these leaves to perfection. As you draw on your pipe, Picture the lush fields and the gentle breezes where this tobacco's journey begins. The 
Cultivation of oriental tobacco is an art in itself. Skilled hands harvest each leaf at its peak, a moment when they turn a warm golden hue. These leaves are then air cured, sun kissed or even gently fire kissed to draw out their full distinctive flavor. Air curing, the most common method for oriental tobacco, involves hanging the harvested leaves in well-ventilated open-air barns. The warm, dry conditions allow the leaves to gradually lose moisture, intensifying their natural sweetness and complexity. Some regions like Turkey and Greece favor sun curing. The leaves are spread out under the scorching sun where they undergo a unique transformation. This method imparts a distinct spiciness and herbaceous quality to the tobacco. And then there's fire curing, a method more commonly associated with dark fired Kentucky tobacco. In this process, the leaves are exposed to open fires, infusing them with smoky, earthy notes. While not the primary method for oriental tobacco, it showcases the diversity of curing techniques in the tobacco world. Each step in the curing process requires careful monitoring and skill. It is where the magic happens, transforming green, freshly harvested leaves into the rich, flavorful oriental tobacco you are savoring right now. As you enjoy your pipe, appreciate the craftsmanship and tradition that go into creating this exquisite leaf. Oriental tobacco with its varied curing methods ensures that every puff is a journey through time, culture and flavor. As you puff on your pipe, remember that oriental tobacco plays a pivotal role in blending. It adds layers of depth and complexity to pipe tobacco, enhancing the overall experience. It is a secret ingredient that elevates an ordinary blend to an extraordinary one. One of Oriental Tobacco's unique qualities is its lower nicotine content. This makes it ideal for those who seek a milder, more contemplative smoking experience. Just like you're doing now, sitting back, taking your time and savoring every nuance. tobacco is not just a leaf, it is a thread woven through the rich tapestry of Eastern Mediterranean cultures. It's been used in both traditional rituals and for commercial purposes for centuries. It holds the stories of generations and traditions, much like the stories you are creating while enjoying your pipe. And speaking of stories, many renowned tobacco pipe brands have crafted blends that feature the exquisite oriental tobacco. Names like Dunhill, celebrated for their high quality pipes and pipe tobacco, often incorporate oriental tobacco into their blends. It's their secret to crafting blends that transport your senses. As you sit in your favorite chair, pipe in hand, picture the artisans at Cornell and Deal who create a wide range of blends, some of which prominently feature oriental tobacco. Their oriental silk and constellation are just a few examples that weave this delicate leaf into a harmonious symphony of flavors. GLPs under the mastery of Greg Pease has brought oriental tobacco into the spotlight with blends like Cairo and Sextant. These blends reveal the richness of oriental leaf, allowing you to explore a world of intricate flavors with every puff. Esoterica Tobacchiana is another treasure trove for pipe enthusiasts. 
Their Penzance and Dorchester blends, enriched with Oriental tobacco, have been the subject of fervent searches and dedicated contemplation. Samuel Gawith, a respected British tobacco manufacturer, has left its mark with blends like Skiff Mixture and Squadron Leader, which celebrate the delicate charm of Oriental tobacco. So, there you have it, a serene and immersive journey through the world of Oriental tobacco, accompanied by a few tales of the brands that turn this leaf into pure magic. Take a moment to cherish the flavors, the stories and the tranquility that accompany every puff. Thank you for joining us on this extended journey. Don't forget to subscribe and follow as this helps massively our podcast to grow. Don't hesitate to get in touch with questions, feedback or comments on Instagram where my nickname is Highland Piper Smoke and on TikTok where you can find me as Highland.Piper. This is George signing off from the Highland Piper podcast and until we meet again, keep your pipe lit and your spirit content.